How's it going everyone? Zabby here and welcome back to the Complete Beginner's Guide here in Fishing Planet. In today's episode, we're going to be heading to Cannon Creek in Alaska and we're going to catch all the different types of fish here. There's a bunch of different types of salmon, some trout, pike, and some smaller pan fish like the Alaska blackfish. We got a new setup today, but first we're going to be going with our Heavy Chaser 300 Sport. You can grab this rod in the Sport Bottom Rod dlc and then our second and third setups are exactly the same they are both bottom sniper 300s we just have two of them and then our newly acquired river tech zeus 220 with the thunderspin 5000 this is what we're going to be using as our new lure setup i uh, did sell my other setups just to get a little bit extra cash i've been trying to save up some money doing some sturgeon farming and stuff like that I'm going to be bringing a nice variety of hooks, but for this lake specifically, I'm going to mainly be using the X-Series Barbless 4-Aught hooks and then number 1 and 8-Aught for the smaller fish. For baits, I'm also bringing a wide range of stuff. Basically, everything we've been bringing in the last few episodes. Uh, mainly, we're going to be using here is some spawn sack. We've got some shrimp as well to go after some of the salmon. And then for the other smaller fish like the blackfish, they do like flies, crickets, and mayflies. So I do have some mayflies. I got some dragonflies. Maybe I'll bring some crickets with me just in case as well. The long nose sucker is here too. So make sure you bring some marshmallows or semolina balls. And then also I'm going to be bringing a casting spoon for a pike. Mainly what I'm going to be using here are these different types of spoons, casting spoons, bullet spinners. That's probably what I'm going to be using here. So you guys can pause the video, bring whatever you'd like. I have a wide range of stuff. You don't need a little bit of everything, but I like to bring a little bit of everything. Make sure you grab an advanced license and I will see you guys in Alaska. When you get here, track the mission so you know what you need to go after. Now, I've already caught a Dolly Varden from when I was here before, but we need to catch every single type of fish here. So I'm going to start off by going after the Dolly Varden. Go to this middle spawn point here and then just walk down. You'll spawn back there. And I just walked up to this edge right here. I went down to two odd hook size for the Dolly Bar. Now I got one rod with spawn sack and then two with dragonflies. And then we're also going to be using this single spoon here. We're just going to be using the smaller one for now. I'm just going to cast some random different spots here. I know there's a couple deep holes around in these rocks. We're just going to cast in a couple different ones here. See like 1.2 meters is pretty deep for how close that is to the shore there. So we'll cast into a couple of these deep holes. Hopefully we get a Dolly Varden. Uh, this is generally where i've caught them though and there we go first fish a nice trophy dolly varden on the dragonflies two aught hook so this was the third rod so it was cast to the right there a little bit i will set a marker just so you guys kind of have an idea but it was just directly right there nice and easy to grab takes no time at all i was just using this single spoon and got a bull trout you can get them with spawn sack and dragonflies and stuff like that i just haven't had that luck but i generally fish right here and you should be able to go ahead and grab one there's the marker so i just cast it out to about there and i basically got it as soon as the uh, lure hit the water there so nice and easy to grab the bull trout just fish here for a little bit You'll get some salmon, but eventually you should end up getting it. For the Alaska blackfish, come on over to the cabin spawn and just walk out onto the little uh, piece of land right here. We're just going to fish in that area to the right right there. But you can walk out at least right here. We got small hooks on, number eight hooks, and we got some crickets. And we're just going to cast pretty much in this area right here. We should be good to go. I believe you can also get the long nose sucker here as well. We'll start out with the blackfish, hopefully get that quick, and then we'll try to go after the sucker here. And there we go. We got the Alaska blackfish already. Nice and easy. Super, super quick in this spot. We're actually going to grab a couple of them, and this is where you actually get the albino blackfish as well. If you're curious, you can just get them in this exact same spot. So just go ahead, grab a couple there. Nice and quick. We're going to try out the same spot here. I went to number one hooks. I got marshmallows on this rod, and then I got semolina balls on the other two rods. We're going to give that a shot for the uh, long nose sucker. And there we go. We get the long nose sucker immediately. Nice and easy. Now we just need to grab that northern pike, but we'll go ahead and grab this other one here. But yeah, so same spot as before. You'll grab the long nose sucker nice and quickly. For the pike, we're going to walk all the way down to the salmon spot that I normally fish at. It's all the way down at the at the back here. So it's going to take a little bit to walk there, but that's where we're going to grab the pike. Now, I normally fish for salmon just over to the right there, but we're going to come down all the way to the very, very bottom here. Now, you can use a popper if you do have one. I don't think I actually have one with me. Yeah, I don't have one with me, so I'm just going to use the casting spoon. But if you do have a popper, you can definitely give that a shot. But we're just going to cast right about here, and we should be able to grab the pike nice and quickly. I ended up getting the pike on the bottom rod. I was using barbless one-odd hooks on that rod. I did swap up the hook sizes a little bit. Just because it was taking a while to get the pike but if you do have a popper it should be a little bit easier i was just using my casting spoon as a, a topwater lure just 
doing straight along the top of the water i did go ahead and just grab the salmon right there at the end after i grabbed the pike so if you're looking for salmon just come down here and uh, try out some different minnows and you should be able to grab the pink salmon right there this area in general right here is good for all different types of salmon you can catch the sockeye i believe you can catch the uh the coho or the chum here i can't remember which one you can't catch here but there is one you can catch here i think it might be the coho you can catch what i'm gonna do is throw in some four odd uh x series barbless hooks here and some large minnows and we're just gonna cast out try and grab the chinook here and see what else we can get just while we're uh just while we're fishing because there's lots of different salmon here and you really just just gotta fish for them and then eventually you're gonna end up getting the different types so that's really all it comes down to but i know right here if we go with these hooks right here and i cast out to that marker there's uh there's a good amount of chinook there let's cast out to there hopefully we can pull one in and there we go first fish we get a nice chinook salmon 407 xp a thousand dollars not too shabby now we are going to actually lower our hook size and change up our baits a little bit here because we just got to catch the last few types of salmon and they're kind of all over the place we're going to fish here for a little bit longer and then if we don't catch anything we'll go back up to the middle spot where we were before because we did catch a couple different types of salmon there so it's really just about fishing around guys and you should be able to finish off these salmon i'm just rocking the bullet spinner and got a sockeye salmon in this spot so it is doable guys it just takes a little bit i ended up staying here and grabbed the coho salmon i cast it over to the right a little bit wait it just completed the mission even though i didn't have the chum salmon that was weird either way we'll catch the chum salmon but that was weird that it just completed there we caught the coho over in the in the right there i just cast it towards the trees back there and it ended up grabbing it so that's where i ended up grabbing that one and there we go there's another one so yeah just back towards the trees is kind of where i casted i came back to the middle spawn point guys and just cast it out in front of me here and grabbed the chum salmon there's so many different types of salmon over here you'll be able to grab all different types up here but yeah generally in this area right here is kind of where i was grabbing the chum salmon and also over by this rock too is kind of there and then all these other areas here there's a little bit of everything just kind of scattered all over the place since we're here and we already have the uh caviar bait we might as well just go ahead and get the monster mission done while we're here it's super super easy so let's just go ahead and get that finished so we're gonna do the same thing we did as when we got the blackfish we're gonna put on super small hooks we're gonna head on over to that cabin spot and then we're gonna put on the caviar bait and get this uh, monster mission finished just since we're here and we already have everything ready to go i forgot you had to have a match rod or a telescopic rod to at least equip the bait to to be able to actually do this so i can put the bait on the bottom rod here but i actually won't catch anything they just hit and then they just uh go away so i can't do the mission yet i'll have to come back and complete it but that's okay we're gonna get all the monster missions done and everything probably in the next week or so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys later